Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in the Flash GS4 series. Today's tutorial we're going to be working with filters, um, which is under the properties tab, and it's going to be working with symbols, um, movie clip symbols to be precise. So if you haven't seen the um, the symbol tutorials and stuff, make sure you check out all the beginning ones because we're starting to get a little more advanced. So today I'm just going to basically show you guys um, the different kind of filters that Flash GS4 offers. Basically, if you've, if you've used filters in the past, it's basically the same thing. So, to get started, you're going to need a circle. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make a funky looking circle here. Okay. So, now that we have this, we're going to have to convert this to a movie clip. So, we're going to select the whole thing. We're going to hit F8, which is our shortcut for convert to symbol. And we're going to delete this, and we're going to name it... Um, F test for filter test, I guess. Make sure you're on movie clip and go ahead and hit OK. Now, now that it's a movie clip, we can go up in our properties tab and we have this little filters tab down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this down a little bit so we have more. Alright, so we're just going to go here. We're going to go to add filter and these are the filters that we have drop shadow, um, extremely simple. In this case, like let's say you have the sun up in the corner, you want to make a shadow of someone. You don't have to take them and then like stretch them and put them on the ground and then like color it all black to make a shadow. The drop shadow makes a very effective shadow, which is going to make it look a little fuzzy so it looks more realistic. So if you can see it, there's our shadow. Um, up in the properties tab, we're just going to go ahead and we can change this so we can make more of a blurry shadow. The angle we want it on. So you can see it moving around over there. So if your sun's in the top right, you know, you can have it on here. Distance, how far out you want it to be. And then just some other random crap down here that we don't really need to use. Um, you can change the color of your shadow. I find it pretty much pointless. <laughs> so that's that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove that one. You... Easy, 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 easy. All right, we're gonna go on to the next filter. The next one's a blur. This one's extremely useful too. As you can see, we did that with a five-pixel blur. You can see how we've kind of, you know, blurred it a little bit, not too much. Keep blurring it. So this is really cool if you want to make stuff look, you know, like if you go like really high in, in the blur kind of looks like invisible, maybe like a cloud. Um, you know, some really, really cool things you can be can be done with blur. If you have a gray background and you have this, you can make like a gray ball go from invisible to visible. Um, but yeah, anything you can really think of, really. So we're going to go ahead and jump on to the next one. Whoops, it's not a symbol anymore. Delete. Library. We'll pull the one out of the last tutorial. I guess. Properties. We're going to go add another filter. Next one's glow. So as you can see, it's put like a little bit of an edge glow around it. So you can change the color of your glow. So it's black. What, um, red does highlight black very well, but we're going to go ahead and go with the green. Green, damn it. There we go. So you can see it's kind of got that little bit of a green going around it, which is going to look, you know, kind of cool. You can make it blurred a little bit more, so you know there's more of a ring around it. Uh, the strength, you can intensify the glow. Color, and don't really worry about all that stuff because it's all bullshit anyway. Ooh, cool. No, all right. So, <laughs> go ahead and get out of this one. And we'll add our next filter. Bevel. This one puts a little bit of a bevel on it. You can see it. Uh, I'm not really going to go too much into that one. Gradient glow. It's the same thing as a glow, but you have a gradient going. So you can make it go from blue to red to green. Water repeats now. Gradient bevel, the same thing. So that's basically it for our filters. Super easy, yet so effective. You use blurs and glows on on everything. It gets... I can't even explain it. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you keep checking out the more videos because we got lots of great stuff.